Okay. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to our annual event, uh, which we call a Rigor Users uh, Conference. It's an annual event that we host at the beginning of the new year, every year, and it's the third one. So uh, everyone is welcome today. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we are we have a theme today. So 2020 is a digital transformation year, and we're going to be focusing a lot on um, that part of the oil field uh, development, so to speak. So let me just uh, introduce myself real quick. So my name is Nikolai, and I'm the VP of um, uh, Sales, Marketing, and Business Development here at Rager. So my pleasure is to host you today. And this is exactly the reason why we are here. So we'd like to thank every one of you who are our customers and um, loyal and diligent users of Rager Operations Management System in the oil field. So if it were not for you, we wouldn't be here uh, now for uh, almost eight years and third year presenting how we're doing um, uh, to date. So again, thanks to you. Uh, not every one of our clients is presented on this slide, but we wanted to highlight the key and major uh, and some of the recent clients that have come on board to start using Rigor in their rental operations. So thank you. And we are uh, going to be talking a little bit more about some uh, of your use cases, uh, feature some of the clients today, and we'll talk about what Rigor has accomplished in the past year and what's coming in the next year. Uh, but first things first, you know that uh, we are pretty active in social media, and since we're a business to business company, uh, so the social media channel such as LinkedIn is the primary one for us. So we are uh, very proud to notice that we have more than 1,100 uh, followers on our page, which is a great turnout and it keeps going up so please if you're not following us yet please do uh, follow us on linkedin and we'll be happy to share everything new that's going on at rigor with you through linkedin so now that we see that um people have now logged in and uh again welcome everyone uh and let's get the ball rolling so welcome to the uh, annual conference of rigor users um, and today's agenda is uh, the following. So we'll talk about uh, rigor in 2019. Uh, we'll talk about the digital transformation for oil field uh, and uh, for oil field operations specifically. We'll talk about some of the customer stories um, and uh, we'll talk about the use cases. We will reveal a bit of a vision for the 2020 for the product as we see it. Uh, we will also be introducing um, our new partner which is a great and exciting news for us. And we will be actually asking or asking you to ask us questions and answer it, and we'll be answering them for you. So today's presenters are here on this slide and I wanted to thank everyone whom you can see, Michael, Gleb, uh, Dasha, Arsene, Indre, and a few, quite a few people on the background as well who've been putting a lot of effort to put together a presentation today. We also would like to thank our clients, such as Ryan Britton and Shannon, uh, a partner of ours who's going to be also presenting and played a part in creating a presentation. So, Rigor in 2019. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Michael Miles of CEO at uh, Rigor, and uh, I'm really excited about uh, this opportunity to talk to all our clients uh, and uh, show some uh, great uh, success, uh, great numbers uh, of uh, last year. And uh, we will talk about uh, this year as well. So year 2019 was quite successful for us. And uh, we spent uh, lots of time traveling back and forth, uh, visiting our clients, uh, presenting at uh, trade shows uh, and uh, the last uh, um, release of uh, Rigor was uh, 7.0 uh, presenting in Oklahoma City at uh, the Oklahoma Oil and Gas Expo uh, and uh, was great full of uh, different event a year uh, and uh, we are really pleased uh, for your support and like to share some lights uh, of uh, what we did in the past. So uh, the Oklahoma City, uh, the uh, latest release of Rigor uh, right now uh, covered uh, more and more uh, features. Uh, we added around uh, 90 different features at three different modules, uh, wide the line of uh, all our offering to end users uh, and uh, right now um, 
we thinking about uh, even adding even more features to uh, uh, our product. So the entire um, yeah the the entire year was was quite successful for us and uh, I'd like to Nikolai tell us a couple couple words about this. Yeah, really. thank you, Michael. And uh, indeed, the product is a driver. Uh, clients are the key drivers. Uh, in the seat of using the system and here we wanted to present what we've been able to accomplish So again, it was a pleasure to be at a number of industry events and also it was an honor to receive a few awards in the past year So we've been working pretty hard for you and wanted to share with you the excitement that we've been nominated and uh, runner-ups in some of the nominations in the oil and gas industry. So thank you again. We will be again um, making sure that we are striving to provide the best product and services in this year so thank you so um on that note i wanted to dive in where we are operating and what's happened in the past year with our operations so it's important because we understand that our focus market is still north america and i wanted to dive a little bit into where we operate so we have two offices in calgary and houston uh, we have support that runs out of houston now and uh european office in dublin uh, software development is very international in our company. So from Eastern Europe to North America, both in Canada and US, we have resources and people that are helping us to make sure that we provide the best service for you. And in the network uh, that you see on the map is actually a representation of our cloud service providers and where they're located. We always are striving to make sure that uh, given the data security requirements, we provide the stable, reliable, and secure service for you. So you're in good hands, in other words. Um, and uh, on the rigor product family, I wanted to pass the microphone to Michael. Yeah, uh, so we add lots of different uh, uh, applications, uh, specific applications for industry uh, or sub-industry, which covered uh, like the entire drilling uh, in this uh, particular case uh, process uh, from top to down hole. So uh, from telecom equipment at the top of the rig to the downhole tools uh, at the very, very bottom. So uh, Rigger itself uh, consists from cloud application and mobile applications on the uh, Android and the Apple platform. And uh, we, we will continue developing uh, different uh, applications for specific industry needs, uh, kind of uh, so, uh, for example, uh, surface equipment, telecom, pressure control, flowback, waste management, rental equipment distribution, and downhaul tools. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Gleb Kovitz. I'm VP of Operations, and I'm um, happy to present our um, rigor uh, client success stories. And uh, also, I want to touch a little bit on the uh, supporting our existing users because rigor has grown from uh, just a simple uh, user guides in the uh, PowerPoint presentation to rigor support portal uh, and knowledge base where we describe all our functionality of the software to the users in a step-by-step -step manner with the screenshots. Also, we've launched uh, last year. We've launched the uh, rigor academy uh, where our new users can uh, dive to the online courses and uh, just learn the software. Um, in a more efficient way uh, by utilizing the latest technologies in the on online learning. Uh, also, we do provide the on-site user training, uh, and it becomes more and more frequent uh, with our new clients. So we, we clearly see that uh, on-site uh, training for users is much more efficient and uh, leads to the more productive work in the software. And also, we providing we are providing the online consultations and online online trainings for those who who needs just a short uh, kind of uh, support. So we are able to do that uh, through our uh, telecommunication channels as well. In terms of the uh, 2019. Um, on our support department, uh, we are glad to show you that statistics because uh, rigor users' numbers are grown significantly. Significantly, at the same time, we've we have received more uh, support tickets to our support portal in, in its normal operations and normal situation, and uh, we see that. Uh, 
users want to get support and we are proud of our support technicians because they are uh, almost 24 7 online and they provide just the work class support to our users uh, on that slide you you that you can see uh, the proof of my words uh, because we have uh, 4.8 out of 5 uh, average rating for our support uh, tickets and uh, we we were proud of our um, experienced uh, support technicians that not only provide a technical support but also sometimes provide a, a support on the uh, just right using of the uh, software and and understanding how um, the whole system operates. Rigger Academy uh, was a quite successful project in uh, 2019 and we continue developing that project because uh, we've seen that uh, more than 100 users uh, have passed the uh, online courses and su uh, submitted us uh, their feedback. So we, we are continuing developing this uh, channel of um, educating our users of using the software. And in uh, 2020, we're gonna build uh, more courses. It will be more deeper, uh, deep and uh, more specific for particular functions in the company. So your, um, your employees can learn the software and not only the software but also learn the ways how to operate in the oil field uh, with the modern technologies. On that note I'd like to uh, say thank you to Indra Arsene and Gleb uh, for such a tremendous uh, efforts and great job uh, uh, moving our operation forward. Thank you so much guys. All right so now we've come to the first Q&A session when you can raise your question, address it to us, and we'll be happy to answer them. So please feel free to use your control panel, either it's Q&A uh, tool or just using the chat uh, and submitting your questions. So we see that they are coming. And uh, Nicola, do we have something on the list? Yeah, I have one question. Um, and the question is, is the support that you provide um, included into the services or is it an additional charge? Well, that's... That's, that's definitely, a good question. Definitely from not from the client, <laughs> because clients clients already know that uh, it's included to the license. Uh, however, uh, it's not uh, that uh, um, strict. So um, the number of hours, depending on the plan, uh, included to the number of hours per month, included to the uh, licenses. And by no means, it means that, as you've seen, that um, the number of requests and the support are coming in and the number of users is growing. So we're always looking on the background to make sure that there is enough support uh, to provide you with the high quality service. Yeah. Okay, right, so I don't think yeah, we can move any on. more questions. So we can move on. But again, just to repeat, uh, for everyone, if you need to ask any question, use the panel, uh, the control panel, type up the question, and we'll be able to answer it. So on that note, we wanted to move to the next part, uh, which is uh, some of our client stories. And uh, the first one uh, that I wanted to talk about is a small business out of Odessa, Texas. Not surprise. Uh, the company is called Sprint Oil Field Equipment Rentals. And what we wanted to uh, actually run uh, is just explain what the company does and ask a few questions. I know that. Uh, we've noticed that it's a busy time throughout the day to make sure that we have a live presentation from a client. So what we did actually in this case, we uh, made a recording uh, of a quick Q&A uh, with the VP of Operations, Ryan Britton, uh, who will be answering some of the questions. But basically, uh, in a nutshell, the company started using Rigor a little more than a year ago. Uh, we were able to implement the system for them in a couple of months. They have more than five users now and a few, quite a few users who are mobile. Uh, and we implemented uh, rigor for them, and it seems that it's been working just fine. Let's just listen to Ryan, what he says. What has your experience been with rigor, and why did you look at using a system like rigor? Well, we've, we've kind of been uh, mom and pop, a lot of paperwork, and just me not having the time to thumb through everybody's paper, I decided I needed something digital that kind of cleaned it up for me. And it uh, it has saved me a, a ton of time doing it that way. 
Perfect. So what do you find uh, the most valuable feature in Rigor for you after more than a year now using it? And just the ability to go back through my database and, and having all of these locations that we've been on, they're saved here. And if I need to find something somewhere, I can just pull it up by name. I know the directions for it. Everything is, is basically right at my fingertips now. Instead of where normally I would thumb back through years worth of emails to try to find it, now I just type it in and it's, it's there. Perfect. And then maybe more of a generic question. So what does your company do in general? What does Sprint Rentals do? It's all small rental equipment. Such as? Uh, for it's not all. Yeah, so we've got light towers, generators, and then we have a few uh, Sandex units that we've been running. Kind of a assistant equipment for the oil field. Mm -hmm. And have you seen the change in the past year as far as, you know, has the market been growing, generally speaking? Oh, uh, yeah, just with our, our ability to uh, keep track of all of our equipment. We've almost doubled in sales utilizing the equipment we weren't using before. That's great. So, Ryan, tell us how people can find you, uh, find your company, uh, what is the contact, and uh, where you operate it. So we're out of Odessa, Texas. It's uh, Sprint Oil Field Equipment Rentals, and they can find us on at SprintRent.com is the new website we've just created. Yeah, great job. One other question, Ryan. So now that you've been using the system for some time, is there anything that we could do better to make your experience using the system like Rigor better? Is there anything that we should think of adding uh, to it, for example, or do anything to help you even grow, grow even bigger, so to speak? I, I think with this online app that y'all are looking at right now, is you've already got what I need. That's great. That's very good. So we're on the right way. Yeah, you're, you're headed in the right direction. Every time you all do an update, it's, it's exactly what I'm looking for. That's great. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So, and what would you say to the others who are saying, uh, for example, on the fence before they're making a decision um, to go with a digital mobile um, application and a system such as Rigor or not? So what is your final piece of advice? I would say, I mean, for the, the smaller companies, it saved me time and money going this way. And for the larger companies, there's just, it's easier to keep track of everything that you have. Right on. So thank you. That was, uh, that was Ryan telling his personal account again, after a one year and a bit using Rigor. So that's, uh, we really appreciate this kind of feedback and we do communicate with our clients on going basis throughout the year. So we make sure that the system runs as it's intended. Uh, to run to make sure that it supports our operations. So that's great. You know, so the next uh, part of this presentation was uh, focusing on some of the use cases. So where Rigor has been used in the past year and the years before and where we had it to as well. So what we find in, um, and again, it's a, it's, a quick, it's a quick sort of you know, use case for a company that is similar um, to the Ryan's. So um, again, it's called Weishark Energy. So it's again, service, uh, septic service, portable toilets and, and equipment rentals, including the forklifts and the light tower. So it's another example of a company uh, with a split of less users in the office and more users in the field actually. And these are the owners of the, uh, of the business that are using the system. Uh, for more than a year as well. And uh, the challenge was, again, to make sure that you have to all the answers that you need to be able to track. And uh, having the field guys that are running the operations and make sure that you communicate with them effectively was the biggest challenge for them. So once we install the rigor uh, using the mobile as well as the cloud setup, uh, they are able now to run the operations smoother. And it's been a very interesting experience with them. And um, we believe that we can replicate that for many uh, of our existing and the new clients. So that's a good example for us. Yeah, another example is a great company out of the Southern Texas and Dean Beefo back in well testing. They're operating the uh, more than five locations right now. I mean, they have more than five yards and they're growing uh, rapidly. So for the past year, uh, they have grown as, uh, as three times, I think. And uh, now uh, five users operating the rigor system uh, on the ongoing basis, uh, day to day. But the, the most challenges that they experienced uh, were pretty much the same as our different clients and our uh, other clients' experience. Uh, it was actually to support the 
uh, growing rental fleet tracking uh, abilities and also uh, manage their inspections, repairs, and uh, maintenance records in the system, not on the paper. So they eventually went out of the paper tickets and they track everything in the rigor system right now. So everyone stays um, on the same page uh, in terms of the equipment state and uh, location of the different equipment and also uh, utilizing the workforce uh, in terms of the field technicians. And definitely they are able uh, to invoice their clients fast right now because everything is uh, automated in the rigor system. Um, I just wanted to add, thank you, Gleb. Uh, we actually met with the, uh, with the guys in the picture uh, just about a month ago, and uh, Connor is actually, he's in the right-hand picture, who's typing um, on the keyboards. So he said that when we met and talked to them after a year of using Rigor, they were first time uh, ahead in their operations. So that was a very exciting statement from him that saying that I'm spending in Rigor more than 10, hour, 10 hours a day, and I'm knowing where my repairs and operations are headed to, what's going on with all the copies of the tickets and documents and the scans uh, of the documents in the system for the repair specifically because the flowback is more of a repair business than the rental, which is just kind of part of it. So it was good to talk and get that feedback from them. Um, another another uh, example of uh, rigor implementation was rival down call tools, uh, drilling motors and drilling uh, downhaul uh, service and rentals. Uh, it's uh, uh, a, a very innovative and uh, fast-growing company uh, which uh, operates right now at three locations in Texas uh, and uh, have more than 25 users of Rigger. And uh, initial challenge was uh, to track complex uh, assemblies, uh, order management, uh, field operations, tool attributes, and uh, uh, CND hours, uh, disassembling and uh, uh, components evaluations, tracking all the rework and invoicing. So what we did for them, uh, we built a custom configuration for downhaul tool rentals, uh, add a, a full technical history of each component uh, to the system and add operations dashboard for dispatchers and managers. So they are pretty happy about uh, the implementations and we built the integration with uh, Microsoft Business Central uh, which is a uh, uh, big uh, accounting uh, software right now. So the, uh, the entire experience uh, working with those uh, uh, big clients for us uh, uh, was uh, the result of it uh, was uh, uh, a specific uh, configuration uh, which we started implementing for different clients uh, this year. Uh, and um, this uh, configuration called Rigor Downhole Tool. So it's a specific, specific module which gives us uh, the extension of the tra standard uh, modules of Rigor uh, to track uh, downhole operations and downhole assembling and disassembling operations, which is, which is really, really complex. Perfect. Thank you very much, Michael and Glab. Um, so we've come to another point where we uh, are ready to take any questions of yours. It will be a, another part of the presentation in a second. And like I said, feel free to type them up and we'll be able to answer. And I'm looking at the, uh, at the questions. And um, so the question that I get, again, it's not from the client, which is good. Um, because although I just like a quick uh, sort of quick comment on although we call it a user conference but it's not only for the users we want to make sure that the community of people that are aware of what Rigor is and what it can do is bigger than what we have as a pool of the clients we are always welcome the people that are looking at different solutions and want to have more of a uh, information of what we can provide and the question that I can see exactly is in line with that uh, and it reads out exactly so you're using different configurations uh, how long does it take to set up Rigor since you have so many different configurations? Uh, it depends. Uh, so it's very, very, very uh, different uh, in every every single case. Uh, uh, usually, um, time to time, uh, like it really. So, sometimes we have already uh, some. Uh, features in rigor which we need to adjust. Sometimes we need to develop new things. So that is why it could be from, okay, I will 
I will tell the numbers. So it could be from two months to uh, maybe six, nine, nine months, depending on the complexity of the uh, module, depending on the complexity of configuration. And on that note, I wanted actually to add, it really depends on the operations, but we had a very interesting implementation not so long time ago. So we had it implemented in a couple of weeks. So, and again, uh, the reason why, so the person was, or the company was coming from one system to uh, Rieger, so they had all the information prepped. Uh, so everything was kind of ready for the spread, in the spreadsheets to be uploaded. And then when we have this kind of you know, preparedness, we all we do in the back end is we identify what the processes are and we create the configuration specifically for the client's needs. So in that case, it can be very fast. So it all depends. It's a good answer. Uh, but talk to us and we will actually put together a timeline for you based on uh, what your requirements are. And we have one more question from Travis, uh, Nikolai. Yeah, so let me read it out. So how does the demo work? Uh, how long can a customer try out Rigor for free? Uh, and is it full featured? That is the demo. <laughs> well, I can answer that question because uh, I am the person who quite often organizes the demos. And um, the short answer is that we don't provide the trial, Travis. And we're in that case very different from some of the other uh, providers of the solutions, simply because uh, in most cases, we've noticed that um, the system needs to be configured for the specific needs of the client and uh, your processes uh, and, and priority areas in every business are different. Even if we look at the surface equipment or the downhaul or any other kind of equipment, every business is different, different people, different uh, environment and different priorities. So and another, what we do instead, uh, mm -hmm. we do the customized demo. So basically, if a, if a company wants to see how uh, their information can be represented in rigor. So what we do, we ask for uh, a simple job uh, documentation that includes what you need to see in the system. And then we build a um, sandbox, so to speak. So where we import information from your sample job uh, paper trail, and then you're able to see what it may look like in rigor in a simple configuration. And then after that, we can start talking about how we can uh, tune it up and configure for specifically your needs. Hope that helps. Yeah, and another another um, reason why we're not um, providing uh, a free demo to, or trial uh, uh, period uh, because uh, uh, from our experience, we realize that people are very busy and they do not have time to uh, you know go through all the small details of the software. They they try it; it uh, looks uh, good, uh, but uh, you know. Usually, usually doesn't doesn't work uh, in a way how how we like to show them how it works. So that is why we use a second demo. We call it demo two uh, or customized demo when we uh, use a particular client uh, case and show how it will look in rigor. Okay, uh, I think I don't have any more questions as of the moment. There will be another time slot uh, that we've. Um, uh, book now to have a Q and A. So, for don't hesitate, type them up, and we'll be able to answer your questions later in the meeting. Okay. And on that note, let's move to the next part of our presentation: Rigor Partners Network. Uh, so, and this is an interesting part. Uh, we didn't have that section last year, but since we are a growing company, and um, we can um, we can now expand. Uh, through different ways, sort of, you know, how we deliver value to our clients and future clients. Uh, so I wanted to, um, I wanted, I wanted to tell you that um, how we build the network uh, of our partners and what kind of partners are we talking about. So uh, the first group of partners that uh, we are discussing the, the collaboration and work with is the software development companies because we have um, a, a pool of companies that would like to partner with us to make sure that we provide a consolidated services for some of the larger companies. So we also have partners uh, among the hardware uh, providers. So we're talking about the sensors, uh, builders, and the um, equipment builders that would like, that are operating in the oil field industry that would like to integrate with Rigor. So the third group of partners is actually accountants. So they're the companies that are very, tangibly valuable to our clients because they do make sure that your operations run effectively and efficiently and you deliver the value and accounting is done right. So the fourth group is actually IT companies. So that's another, um, this is our partner implementers. 
outrigger and as well as the software consultants, the people that are helping and are interested to partner with us to make sure that the oil field services industry um, gets organized in the right way and they would like to be part of that. So these are the four or five rather uh, different categories of partners. And the one that we would like to focus uh, today in our meeting is the accountant partner. And on that note, I wanted to pass the microphone uh, to Shannon Badger, a partner at the Badger CPA Energy Accountants. So she'll tell us a little bit more about what they do and how we partner with uh, Badger CPA. Shannon? Thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, thank you. Great. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, we are a CPA firm. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas. And um, our niche really is uh, automating and streamlining back office and financial close for energy companies. So we've been in business now for about five years. We have a team of about 20 accountants and six CPAs on staff. And um, my background is uh, public accounting at uh, Ernst & Young. And then most of my career was spent uh, between Kinder Morgan and uh, Tesoro refining before it was acquired by um, Endeavor or Marathon. So we, uh, thank you. So uh, we serve um, kind of all different aspects of the energy space. Um, we do have uh, upstream clients. We work with uh, producers and we'll manage kind of all of their, um, you know, EMP needs, uh, drilling funds, uh, landowner uh, reporting, royalty, working interest calculations, things like that. So we do uh, kind of full service back office for them. And um, you can go to the next slide if you want. And then for uh, midstreams, we have uh, several private equity groups are probably our main client here, but where we're working with various projects that they have going on and setting up the uh, project accounting um, needed for midstream pipeline projects. Um, and so this is my background specifically is in the pipeline space. So uh, we do a lot of um, work with just transportation and uh, building all those things out. And then at oil field uh, service is um, actually probably the largest part of our, our business currently. We have a lot of uh, just various all different kinds of oil field service, uh, primarily in Texas, um, but uh, all over Texas. And we really work on trying to streamline and automate from the data in the field and how it gets fed into the accounting system so that we can, you know, invoice and account for things as quickly and accurately as possible. So that has really been the area, especially in which we've worked with uh, rigor um, a lot over the last year or so. Uh, we probably, I believe we have about four mutual clients now, and rigor has been a big part of our strategy when we are onboarding a new client, assessing the current just system and kind of where the barriers are. It usually seems to be with manual field tickets um, or paper tickets, you know, being given to the office and then key, you know, manual data entry. Um, and it just creates a lot of, uh, you know, opportunities for mistakes and missing things. So uh, implementing rigor as part of our sort of back office strategy with our clients is a huge focus for us, especially this coming year. Um, just maintaining that data integrity on the front end in the field is really crucial. So that's, that's basically how we've been working with rigor. Um, this is just an overview of what we do. Uh, we offer full service, um, back office, uh, strategic finance, debt restructuring, tax planning, everything for our clients. So our, our primary focus really is in a fractional controller and CFO capacity. So we like to oversee the full financial picture for our clients. And um, that just includes automating the back office. So, Right on. Perfect. Thank you very much, Shannon. And um, we wanted to let everyone know, again, there's a, our current clients and there's a future clients of Rigor who are in today's call. We wanted to make sure that if anyone has any questions uh, that relates to the accountants, so we have the energy accountants now on board and this, as a partner organization. So you're welcome to reach out directly to Shannon or through us uh, to make sure that we can set up a presentation and explain how the two, the two teams of ours can actually uh, help you grow and make sure that you can develop according to your specific plan. So we have basically a, a joint solution for you. Shannon, I, I have a question for you. So um, the when, when, we, when we discuss that, uh, so how important for accountant uh, the quality of sales and operation uh, data, which you receive as a like, and uh, that probably like from my background, like from my experience from accounting, the accountant is, a, is the last point of uh, 
uh, data and uh, like all the problems appear there. So so tell tell us about that kind of. <laughs> That's very true. Um, yeah, we usually go through kind of an initial assessment with clients, and usually, um, I mean, everyone knows kind of all the errors in the mess. Really, accounting is is sort of the the group that handles all of it. So what happens is you create lots of uh, spreadsheets in Excel or manual processes, or you add people to constantly double check and triple check work because you are not confident that you have the right the right data coming in. So what I have found is that it's actually extremely important using technology to automate uh, field operations because you can standardize your processes, your contracts, you can have it all set up in the system with all the different rates. It also helps a lot with um, job costing, project profitability reporting, and other things that are very challenging to do if you're not working with the right system. And so, the, the other, you know, unintended benefit, I think, sometimes is that we actually have found that we can, you know, reduce the amount of FTE needed in accounting, so it frees up more time for more operational needs or strategic things where you could have a team of five accountants, and then once you automate things, you really probably only need three. And so um, I think it's a very tangible way of saving time and resources so you can allocate them elsewhere. So it's extremely important. True, true. And what we see uh, when uh, they start uh, building the order in the sales operations and accounting, they uh, have more time to think strategically and grow the business uh, rapidly. Yes, and I, and I think it also helps you think about, you know, where do we have customizations in our agreements and things that are creating a lot of workarounds and extra work? You know, what can we standardize or how can we create a logic to automate certain processes? And, and then also just gets operations comfortable that the reporting coming from their accounting team is going to be accurate. I mean, it's very frustrating to try to run operations when you don't have real-time actionable information. And by the time your accounting team can get you data that's useful, you know, you're already seven weeks after the fact. And so um, I think just access to real-time information so you can run your business better is really important. Perfect. Good. Good. Thank you, Shanna. So uh, yeah, thank you. And yes. uh, and again, uh, I'd like to ask all our clients if you consider uh, the accounting support. Uh, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. So please consider Badger CPA and your accountants. And uh, we have a great experience with them. Uh, great integrations with uh, uh, accounting software and uh, uh, great support uh, to our team uh, from. Uh, kind of uh, our internal uh, uh, accounting uh, requirements uh, and uh, just uh, just understanding how how the information uh, in rigor can be used in in the accounting purpose, for for the accounting purposes okay Absolutely. perfect thank you uh, we're moving to the next part of our presentation which is the exciting one so just up to this moment we we're talking about the 2019 and a bit of a lead up to the 2020 but there is more uh, of a digital uh, coming in the 2020, and I wanted to pass the microphone to Michael again to shed a bit of a light on that uh, exciting new time. Yeah, it's interesting that um, we start conversation with all our clients uh, this year and uh, some prospects, uh, and uh, most of the guys, uh, they see the trend that uh, the entire industry uh, moving towards to digitalization, the digital transformation become a big trend for uh, oil field. Uh, and uh, it's a real uh, data, uh, more technical data moving back and forth, and uh, analyzing data, predictive uh, maintenance, uh, all those things are uh, in a great demand right now, and uh, it's good time to start thinking about uh, digitalizing and digital transformation. So we are going to help our clients in this manner, and uh, our main focus is, uh, would be um, mobile oil field. So we will develop our applications uh, online and offline applications uh, uh, parallel, and uh, it uh, the new mobile app uh, will be available uh, this spring. So we are very excited about this and uh, uh, when it will be ready. So stay tuned and uh, we'll show you how it works. 
the next uh, big step uh, is a job costing. So we are very close to the moment when uh, we will show you uh, a very granular uh, analytics uh, tool uh, in uh, rigor to sh show you the entire uh, job uh, cost and uh, profitability. Data visualization is another thing which uh, we uh, seriously consider uh, to add to the new release and uh, it will be um, more visual uh, information helping managers and dispatchers understand what's going on and uh, make uh, inadequate uh, decisions. Another uh, thing which uh, we uh, considering right now and uh, which we um, explore, uh, study, uh, it's an RFID technology for oil field rentals uh, equipment. So, and uh, it, it will be, for us, it will be a big thing uh, and uh, it definitely will replace uh, all uh, uh, barcode scanners and readers, which unfortunately not uh, good perform in uh, oil patch uh, and bushes and uh, all those uh, hard circumstance uh, which uh, not allowed us to use this uh, in the right way. And um, the, we think that RFID technology is, is a big step for, for the entire rental industry at all and for uh, oil field rentals. Uh, and we know, I just wanted to add on that point again, because we've spent uh, past year talking to a lot of companies that provide both the software and the hardware for the RFID. So it's not just we're thinking, we actually are considering a few options right now. Uh, and we're discussing actively a few partnership with some RFID services providers. So those of you who are looking actively at actually integrating the remote sensing into your rental tracking or asset tracking, please do reach out to us and let us know what your thoughts are. We are more than happy to actually have a conversation with you and see how we can move one or another project faster along the pipeline. So it's an active development. Yeah, uh, another another uh, thing which we see right now, uh, but probably it will be uh, a second uh, uh, part of the year, it will be a, a telemetry, uh, technical data and uh, big data analytics uh, for um, providing uh, preventive maintenance uh, uh, records for uh, equipment. And uh, another big thing which we uh, see as an opportunity is to build the ecosystem and a platform to connect uh, three parts, manufacturer, rental company, and uh, oil company, which uh, uh, kind of uh, give us an opportunity to uh, work together and see uh, a performance of the equipment, uh, all the technical parameters, and uh, understand uh, what uh, we can do better in each stage. So, uh, and uh, right now we uh, talking about, if we're talking about uh, our rigor uh, 2020 releases, uh, the software will be released in Calgary in June. Uh, it will be a global energy service uh, show, global energy show, uh, formerly GPS, the global petroleum show. Uh, and uh, in the, this uh, release, uh, we are going to present uh, job costing module uh, with uh, live examples because uh, we have two uh, pilots right now, equipment maintenance module and mobile oil field I mentioned previously. And uh, the next uh, big event for us will be uh, PBIOS, uh, Permian Basin International Oil Show uh, in Odessa. And uh, uh, we'd like to uh, put more force to data visualization, dashboards and RFID technology there. Okay, there is another time to ask any questions. So uh, thank you, Michael, again. And, and I wanted to comment that, um, that these um, two releases that have been mentioned by Michael are just only releases. We're going to be talking about what we're going to be presenting this year in, uh, in a couple of minutes, but just, just hold on a second. So we've got a question again from Travis and the question about the job costing. Let me read it out. Uh, will this tool consist of many things that are, aren't normally considered or overlooked, such as equipment depreciation, insurance costs, mileage, fuels, uh, expandables, new renewable services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
So absolutely great question. Thank you, Travis. And uh, this is actually what we discussed yesterday. Uh, and uh, uh, definitely uh, some of the uh, expenses will be um, considerate uh, and will be a part of the uh, first release. We, we, already, we, we already know how the system will develop uh, in terms of complexity. But uh, what we'd like to build, we'd like to build configurable uh, and uh, cons customized uh, structure uh, where you can set up what kind of expenses you will track and uh, uh, how you will track that. So, but yes, this will be a part of this job costing module. Thank you for the question, uh, Travis. Any other questions? I see the audience is being filled with enough of the information. What I also wanted to add, uh, based on what we just talked about, the big data and um, some of the exciting things that are coming in the second part of the year at Rigor, is that one of the questions that we've heard from our clients is that wouldn't be nice to know when my valve is expected to go down. So that's exactly the kind of a question that um, the analytics engine model that we've been considering to integrate with uh, will be answering. So the predictive analytics becoming for the manufacturers and uh, you know, expensive equipment um, renters is a big thing. So it's a very active and hot topic. So we're pretty excited about that. Okay, so let's move to the next uh, part of, and we're coming to the fourth part of our today's presentation. Again, we appreciate everybody uh, sticking uh, with us. And um, because we know it's a busy day and it's a meet day, um, so what we wanted to talk right now about is where actually you can meet and uh, greet uh, us, uh, uh, geographically speaking, and what kind of events. So there will be a, a number of events that we're going to be presenting and present uh, this year. It's We've doubled, actually, uh, in our presentation uh, as of this year so compared to the last one. So we're going to be in Denver, we're going to be in Fort Worth, we're going to be in Midland, uh, Wichita Falls, and Houston as well, but it's only in the next six months. So when we talk about the the second part of the year, we will be also in Houston, in Wyoming, in San Antonio, in Odessa, and in Pittsburgh. So it's going to be a busy year for us, and um, one of the reasons why is that because we love our clients, we want to interact with you guys wherever you are, we're closer you are to any of those events we would like you to be there and we we're we're going to be interacting with both the existing and the new clients in these events so we're looking forward to meeting more of you and um, um and learning about your experiences and your challenges so now again we're coming to the close of the today's presentation and i wanted to once again it's never enough uh, to thank you, every one of you who are our clients who have joined us today, and uh, those of you who haven't been joined, but you will be looking at the video of the recording. So thank you for being with us, and we're committed to providing the best services for you. However, if you are not yet a client, and this is exactly to that part of the audience today who have not made a decision or a leap forward, so right now is a good time. So 2020 seems to be a very transformative year for many companies, so do fill out the request uh, for a demo and we'll be more than happy to actually walk you through what rigor is and how it works and, and again what's happening as ever next week we're going to be in denver so those of you who are in the denver area uh please come by and um now let's just sit down and talk we're going to be at dog rockets in denver next week thank you so much everyone uh have a fantastic uh rest of the week uh, happy valentine's and uh see you next time Thank you so 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 for being with us uh, today and uh, have uh, everything best. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll be talking uh, uh, in the next week uh, with another webinar, our regular weekly webinar. But and the um, and looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much. Bye bye.